Hi! In this video, we will be discussing what we know so far about the Red Planet and whether or not it is the best option for humans to explore and potentially colonize. Stay tuned to learn 10 interesting facts about Mars and to find out more about the challenges and opportunities it presents for space exploration. Mars Mars is the fourth planet from the Sun and the second smallest planet in the solar system, only being larger than Mercury. In the English language, Mars is named for the Roman god of war. Mars is a terrestrial planet with a thin atmosphere, less than 1% that of Earth's, and has a crust primarily composed of elements similar to Earth's crust, as well as a core made of iron and nickel. Mars has surface features such as impact craters, valleys, dunes, and polar ice caps. It has two small and irregularly shaped moons, Phobos and Deimos. Some of the most notable surface features on Mars include Olympus Mons, the largest volcano and highest known mountain in the solar system, and Vals Marineris, one of the largest canyons in the solar system. The Borealis Basin in the Northern Hemisphere covers approximately 40% of the planet and may be a large impact feature. Days and seasons on Mars are comparable to those of Earth, as the planets have a similar rotation period and tilt of the rotational axis relative to the ecliptic plane. Liquid water on the surface of Mars cannot exist due to low atmospheric pressure, which is less than 1% of the atmospheric pressure on Earth. Both of Mars's polar ice caps appear to be made largely of water. In the distant past, Mars was likely wetter and thus possibly more suited for life. It is not known whether life has ever existed on Mars. Mars has been explored by several unscrewed spacecraft, beginning with Mariner 4 in 1965. NASA's Viking 1 lander transmitted the first images from the Martian surface in 1976. Two countries have successfully deployed rovers on Mars, the United States first doing so with Sojourner in 1997 and China with Zhurong in 2021. There are also planned future missions to Mars, such as a NASA ESA Mars sample return set to happen in 2026 and the Rosalind Franklin rover mission, which was intended to launch in 2018 but was delayed to 2024 at the earliest, with a more likely launch date at 2028. Mars can be viewed from Earth with the naked eye, as can its reddish coloring. This appearance, due to the iron oxide prevalent on its surface, has led to Mars often being called the Red Planet. It is among the brightest objects in Earth's sky, with an apparent magnitude that reaches minus 2.94, comparable to that of Jupiter, and surpassed only by Venus, the Moon, and the Sun. Historically, Mars has been observed since ancient times, and over the millennia has been featured in culture and the arts in ways that have reflected humanity's growing knowledge of it. What do we really know about Mars? Mars is one of the most explored bodies in our solar system, and it's the only planet where we've sent rovers to roam the alien landscape. NASA currently has two rovers, Curiosity and Perseverance, one lander, InSight, and one helicopter, Ingenuity, exploring the surface of Mars. Perseverance rover, the largest, most advanced rover NASA has sent to another world, touched down on Mars on February 18, 2021, after a 203-day journey traversing 293 million miles, 472 million kilometers. The Ingenuity helicopter rode to Mars attached to the belly of Perseverance. Perseverance is one of three spacecraft that arrived at Mars in 2021. The Hope Orbiter from the United Arab Emirates arrived on February 9, 2021. China's Tianwen-1 mission arrived on February 10, 2021, and includes an orbiter, a lander, and a rover. Europe and India also have spacecraft studying Mars from orbit. In May 2021, China became the second nation to ever land successfully on Mars when its Zhurong Mars rover touched down. An international fleet of eight orbiters is studying the red planet from above, including three NASA orbiters, 2001 Mars Odyssey, Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter, and MAVEN. 
These robotic explorers have found lots of evidence that Mars was much wetter and warmer, with a thicker atmosphere, billions of years ago. Do you like this video so far, and don't you want to miss anything about this subject? Then please subscribe to this channel. Thank you! Mars One's Journey, 2011 to 2021 Humanity has explored Mars since 1960, and we've never been closer. The next logical step for Mars exploration is permanent settlement, where crews that go to Mars stay and build a new society. Humans settling on Mars will inspire us all to make Earth a better place. Technology, scientific understanding, cooperation. Is there anything we cannot achieve? Mars One was founded in 2011 with the goal of sending humans to Mars to stay. Instead of trying to return them, more crews would be sent every two years, establishing a permanent, ever-growing settlement on the Red Planet. Permanent settlement missions place even higher demands on the crew than a return mission. A first permanent settlement crew would be on Mars for two years before the second crew joins them. They would be able to communicate with friends and family on Earth, but only with time delays. Crew selection, training, and testing on Earth would be necessary to make sure they can deal with this. Besides that, they would need to learn all the skills to survive on Mars without support from Earth, other than information. They would need to be able to fix every technical and medical problem, grow food, and expand the settlement with hardware for upcoming crews. Crew selection is the biggest challenge of a permanent settlement mission to Mars. Mars One had a business plan for such a mission to Mars, which can be summarized as monetizing the media value of the adventure of humans going to Mars. The Olympic Games are worth more than $4 billion in broadcasting rights and sponsorship. The 1969 moon landing is still a TV program with the highest viewership density ever. Imagine the value of a mission to Mars in the current media era. Mars One raised funds by having investors invest in a Mars One media company that held the rights to the mission. In 2011, Mars One met with aerospace companies around the world to discuss the plan, including SpaceX, Hamilton Sumstrand, ILC Dover, MDA Corporation, Paragon Space Development Corporation, and Tela's Alenia Space. With their feedback, Mars One developed a plan that was feasible, affordable, and that had an acceptable risk. In 2012, the plan was announced, later followed by a job vacancy for Mars settlers. More than 200,000 people registered their interest on the Mars One website. More than 10,000 potentials finished the job application process, and Mars One narrowed down the applicants, first to 1058 Round 2 candidates, and then to 100 Round 3 candidates. In 2013 and 2014, Mars One had feasibility studies performed by Lockheed Martin for a first robotic mission and with Paragon Space Development Corporation for Mars suits and life support systems. In 2016, Mars One ran out of funds and was unable to continue the selection program and the technical studies. In the years after that, several attempts were made to raise additional funds, but they were unsuccessful. Despite that, Mars One has had an impact on Mars exploration by promoting the idea of permanent settlement. We, Mars One's co-founders, are still convinced that the first crews that go to Mars should, or will have to, go there to stay. The risk of doing a return mission before you have adequate launch infrastructure on Mars is simply too great. The first time you view the idea of permanent settlement, you might think it is out there. But the second or the third time, you realize that some humans are and have always been explorers. Throughout history, there have been humans with explorer genes that picked up their stuff and tried to settle in a place where no human had gone before. Exploration has never been free of risk, and all space exploration presents very real risks and challenges. Establishing a permanent settlement on Mars is very complex, but it is far less complex, less risky, and requires much less infrastructure sent to Mars than return missions. Only a mission design that involves permanent settlement results in a technically feasible mission with an acceptable risk to the crews. The idea of permanent settlement has been popularized through Mars One's own communication and media coverage, but also by Mars One being picked up in popular culture like The Simpsons and Big Bang Theory. Mars One has made a lot of people more passionate about Mars exploration, 
and we believe these seeds we planted will make it a little bit less hard for the next group that plans a permanent settlement mission to Mars. Facts about Mars 1. Named after the Roman god of war, Mars is the fourth planet from the Sun in our solar system. 2. Mars is also known as the Red Planet because, well, it's red. This signature color comes from the large amount of a chemical called iron oxide, or rust as you might know it, in its rocks and soil. 3. Mars is the second smallest planet in the solar system after Mercury, with a diameter, distance through the middle, of 6,791 kilometers. It's roughly half the size of Earth. 4. It can get pretty cold on Mars, much colder than our own planet, since it's further away from the Sun. At the equator, temperatures can reach 20 degrees Celsius, but at its poles they can plummet to as low as minus 140 degrees Celsius. 5. Mars is home to the highest mountain in our solar system, a volcano called Olympus Mons. Standing a whopping 24 kilometers high, it's about three times the height of Mount Everest. 6. You could jump around three times higher on Mars than you can on Earth. Boeing. This is because the planet's gravity, the force that keeps us on the ground, is much weaker. 7. Do you like to look at the moon at night? Well, check this out. Mars has two moons. One is called Phobos and the other Deimos. 8. A day on Mars is 24 hours and 37 minutes. Only a little bit longer than a day on our own planet. A year on Mars, however, is almost twice as long, lasting 687 Earth days. This is because it takes a lot longer than Earth to complete its orbit around the Sun. 9. Water on Mars Mars is rich in minerals that formed in water, and in some cases still hold water. These aptly named hydrated minerals can be found around the planet, as shown in maps made using data from NASA's Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter and the European Space Agency's Mars Express. 10. Humans have not yet been to Mars, but scientists have sent spacecraft there to help them research this fascinating planet. The first spacecraft to land on Mars were the Viking lander, which touched down on the surface in 1976. That's all for today. Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to subscribe to our channel for upcoming amazing and informative videos.